Welcome back to Power Lunch. With more analysts discussing the possibility of a blue wave this election, how should investors trade the healthcare space, a group that could see far different outcomes in the case of a Democratic or Republican win? Let's bring in the Trading Nation team to discuss Bill Baruch of Blue Line Capital and by phone, Boris Slosberg of BK Asset Management. Boris, uh, drug pricing reforms, Medicare for all, your thoughts on how this election could decide the fate for a lot of these healthcare stocks you invest in? Well, you know, at first, I'm a little bit cautious about betting on a full Democratic sweep, given the very massive institutional barriers arrayed against Democrats on a state level. But if you were to sort of forecast that, yes, you get a big blue wave, Biden wins, and you get a big um, a Democratic sweep, then I think it's actually not bad for the healthcare sector, because the ultimate end goal here is that there will be more people having health care, and there will actually be a bigger buyer of health care um, in the form of government as we go forward. So I think all these companies kind of figured it out. Yes, they're going to have regulatory constraints on them, but their um, end market will be much bigger, and therefore, in the end, they're going to be able to, um, uh, to create more volume. Now, having said this, though, as far as sort of protecting your portfolio and kind of looking for um, places where you're not really going to be hit by any kind of knee-jerk reaction, I really like the vaccine makers, because my view is that if Biden wins, he's going to essentially create a World War II-like effort to inoculate everybody and have the state pay for it, essentially basically try to make inoculation completely free so that he encourages everybody um, in the world to get a vaccine. And out of that, Santa Fe is one of the uh, biggest producers of vaccines worldwide. They have tremendous amount of knowledge in how to do this at scale. So to me, that's a very interesting buy into a Biden win, because I think they're going to be a big beneficiary of this kind of a first beneficiary of the blue wave sweep if we get one. Got it. Bill, you're sticking to biotech. Uh, tell us why. Well, I, I don't know about a, a Democratic uh, blue wave here, but what I do know is I, I like stocks that are making new all-time highs. And IBB, the biotech ETF, as well as IHI, the medical devices ETF, have both been making new record highs. So you got IBB out above 135, which roughly is that 2015 high. And I love it out above there. But, you know, with the election coming around the corner, I think you got to be prepared for volatility. So you got to know your buy points. We break below 135. I'm looking at 124, 125 area, uh, a level recently tested, 200-day moving average as a good area to be a buyer. And as for IHI, it's making new record highs. There's some really great names like Abbott Laboratories within there. Uh, ultimately, uh, as we're making new record highs today, you know, you, you're getting a nice confirmation to buy. Uh, I actually bought some today, but ultimately 280 is that floor that you want to be looking at. 280 would be a, a point uh, to, to be prepared to buy at. Got it. And the Nasdaq Biotech ETF up another 1% today.